Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do some mini twists. I've been seeing this um, a lot more recently where people do like two strand twists, but they do it in a smaller version and they leave it in their hair. So that's what I want to try to do today. It's my wash day and I'm off. So I said, let me film it. Let me do a little cute something something to my hair, you know, cause I'm tired of doing it and I'm really just tempted to cut it all off. So <laughs> to prevent me from cutting off my hair and doing another big chop, I want to do this protective style. Um, this is what we're working with. I already washed and conditioned my hair. I did not blow dry it because I didn't want to put that heat on my hair because I didn't think it was necessary. I'll just have my mini twist shrink a little bit. I don't really care. I know how to do two strand twists. I just not sure how I'm gonna part it and stuff on my hair, but then later on, once I actually get the technique down, I'll show you my products and I'll show you how I part it and I'll show you everything so you can do this at home and you can be cute and you can go back to school and you can stunt on them and be like, extensions who, fake hair who, my hair boo. <laughs> I hate myself. But anyway, if you wanna see how I get my mini twists and you um, wanna see how I do it, then just keep on watching. So this is what my hair is actually looking like. I like my, parts to the side so I'm just gonna part it ear to ear and then I'm just gonna um, take this section section it off take this section section it off and then start in the back all right so I just section this part off this is where my parts gonna be and then just down to my ear and during this video I'm gonna have to cut my ends because they look ridiculous so I already know so you don't need to let me know I know my ends look bad they're going to get cut thank you okay so I finally got it straight enough to where it'll do it's not perfect and I'm not that good at parting my hair but I don't want to waste my time on this part where really people won't be able to see it I just care about this part and the part the front but I'm still gonna try to make the parts at the back right, even. So I just finished the first back row. Looking good, looking great. This one's a little skinny. I want them like this size, but I'm not gonna redo it because that's just doing a lot. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Like I said, the part's not perfect, but I'm on my second row. I'm just trying to figure out the proper sizing for each one and then I'm cutting them, cutting the ends as I go. I figured that I should cut them before I twist the ends, like cap the ends off because then they'll stay twisted. Okay, so the back is all finished so now I can finally start sides okay so I'm not good at laying my baby hairs but I'm gonna try at least and also the Sun's gonna look different because I started filming a couple hours ago probably like one or two hours ago and now the lighting's gonna be different but I'm going to make a small part all right so like I said take my spray bottle get it wet here you can really tell how bad my ends are and then I'll take my leave-in conditioner my Garnier fruit tea sleek and shine intensely smooth leave-in conditioner and then I'm going to take my coconut oil trim my ends because like I said they're terrible it looks like this much and then I can probably put these and divide these into two I'm gonna do the one in the back first because like I said I'm gonna try to do my baby hairs but I'm just not the best at it and then I'm taking this um, Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Gel Souffle. I've never used this before, but I saw another video that I watched she used this. So, um, I said, why not? 
make it even as even as possible these two strands and then use two strand twist and I want to keep it as tight as possible not tight to where I'm like pulling my hair and it's hurting my head but tight so they don't unravel and then once you get to the end and you can't twist it anymore I take it around my finger and there you go I'm not good at doing this, so if this turns out decent, like my baby hairs, I'll be happy. Does that look alright? Sure. <laughs> Don't know. I want to say that looks decent. Now I feel like I have a ton of oil on my face. We'll go with it. That's one thing I need to get better at is learning how to do my baby hairs. Because I can't do it. Alright, so like I said, just gonna keep going. I finally finished. It's a couple hours later. And it's all done. I guess I should set it down. So y'all can really see. The lighting is gonna be terrible and it's gonna be changing and I'm sorry, but we're all done. <laughs> but now we're gonna put in these little designs and then I'm gonna let it dry and then we can come back when it's all dried and then you can see the finished product. So this is the final product. I put some makeup on. I put some of these little gold pieces in. Um, I realized some of them, like this is a mini twist, but like there's some here, like this one or this one that aren't really mini, but it still works. I put some makeup on, I'm feeling cute. I really have nowhere to go but to work. But yep, this is the final product. And last night I put some, I put a, uh, my bonnet on and then I put a scarf on. But yeah, I'm loving it. I feel like I look like Dora or Lord Farquaad or something. <laughs> but yes, this is all my hair and I love it. But thank you so much for watching. Um, give this video a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.